Good evening, boss. Mr. Scaramanga. slowly okay okay
I figured you would say something like that. <laughs> Let me just take a look at my... It is by far the most stupid choice you can make. <laughs> but it won't stop you from making it. Where is my Dora too? There it is. There it is. Perfect. Oh. Like the seed to the end and make sure you walk out of there safe in one place. But I cannot leave Adriana here alone, I simply won't. I simply won't leave Adrianda. Oh. Why does it sound like this human is dying? <laughs> She's not old and wrinkly at all. She at least has two years. <laughs> because even the knight who tried to protect her got his head bitten off the other night. Which is why I should be there and make sure. Ah. I'm just eating some food real quick, sorry about that. Hungry.
If Dora for some reason finds her here while I'm Stormwind, you will wear your armor. Are y'all are you crazy all of a sudden? got himself killed. They need all the safety you can get. need anymore. Slightly full, dude. Ugh. This, this mashed potatoes and uh, pork is not really agreeing with my stomach that, 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 that great, you know. to be in Old Town and look for Raviskin. Is he at Highborn? Yes, Lord Solomon's Karamanga. <laughs> Solomon's Karamanga. I thought I recognized that. Uh, I don't know if there he's alone or with backup or he brought soldiers. I have no idea. Take a look at Stormwind real quick. Oh, he's online, dude! Look at him! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> there he is! My fears <laughs> run.
Why not? Yes. Running to Old Town. I need to put my cape on as well. <sighs> I've used screwed up. <sighs> you haven't missed anything yet, but it's gonna happen right about in like five, ten minutes or something. It's gonna be juicy as hell. Wait, I need to find Solomon. <laughs> He's really old though, like 11,223 years there he is there he is there's Ramaskin Actions are illogical. All possible results for this encounter have put, been uh, calculated. Thank you for the algorithm. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, scary music for this, by the way. Like real scary music and all that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's really scary, actually.
Why is my OBS song not working? There we go. Descends into glare into a trio, cranning his call to his far left, exuding a plume of smoke of nostrils before every you speak me? What is it? It's bugged again. I cannot display songs. Shit. Oh well. Doesn't matter. You just exclamation mark song. It should work. Ravos can can't see Santo. Other side exhausting a series of future cracks from his neck. Elaborate.
music indeed. for self-defense but A suggests we harm Dornomi and we have to even kill her. If that would do anything to Domericrats. A thought it was the only way to meddle with time and prevent Domericrats from existing so we split up. Ace went to Stormy to get the equipment that I, I went seek to help from my boss from the Shady Lady and friend Flaw. I thought Ace to find her on Normie and bring her to the lady but things didn't go as planned. Dornomi showed up and she said that Ace was certainly in danger so we followed her into the cathedral and down in the catacombs but it was all a trick. Dora Normie we followed turned out to be Bridget herself, Domira Crest, and she looked just like Dora Normie, but with the black horns, black and blue scales, and blue eyes. the implemented coin and then cranes his head to the side wordlessly the black scale behemoth lifted his left arm folded upon the jackpot tips a golden glow material is beginning to dance about the whirling halter upon hearing the very last point the fury of his hand when taking a certain point is his attention fully fixed up to impers That's the whole story. Really beer beer some dude like holy crap. Would you buy a new PC if I donated 1000 euros? 100% dude. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy fuse. But why would you do that? Like come on. <laughs> of course I would buy a new PC and that would be a pretty hefty PC as well, but yeah, don't mind that. Let me just do the RP now. <clears throat>
bailed his fist, mustered a form of coldness for us, and the moment he saw curled our inward magic, magic seemed to turn to dust. Harriet Sand took the life around his wrist and fashioned itself into a ball just above his palm. Set his attention on said ball, which rapidly crystallized as he spoke into it. Entirely aware, I am entirely aware. That means if you have made more progress than I have, a lot elaborate on me on. Then an echo bellow forth from the crystal sand. a careful eye on what Travis is doing but remains quiet. I'm none of those. Poor Cracky. Echo Ravskin, if I had something then you would know already. This brazen content has done nothing but dim both of you and its energy and time. How expected. <laughs> he's talking to like his other self or something. Swoops down from above, flapping her wings powerfully as she descends towards the ground. With a graceful moment, she tucks in her legs and lands in crouch, slamming her fist on the ground with a loud thud as she slowly lifted her head before. Rising to her full height, she emits a menacing snarl, her sharp teeth bared. Stuffed the ball out of existence with a singular flick of wrist, I shattered into dust. was a piercing shimmer in light of blue cool. Something seemed different off about her. For anyone who had knew her, she then turned immediate attention towards him first and stared down at them. With a fierce look in her eyes, with a low growl as she snarled her voice reverently through the air. You will abandon this endeavor, human, or you will die now. She began to approach him first, she steeps deliberately and purposely. Now pride is coming. Pride so far running only across rooftops and looking for a certain person has already met a few days ago or even two, sharing different temporal spaces. He finally spotted them. So he crouched on one of his rooftops and waited for a given moment. 
When the moment came, he also went into the action, knowing that the opportunity would come not along. He, came, he leaped from the rooftop to the next, and namely as a cat, or rather Morgan, makes his relative his same physique. Leaped from one tile to the next, is dancing in the wind. He then made nimble leaps from the trees, just jumping on the branches of the monkey-like agility. And finally, he reached the destination, standing on the roof above everyone else, measuring them with proud eyes. Pride reached slowly for the hilt of his one and a half handed sword from neck is behind the ass, sliding into the scarver with a slow finesse not yet relieving his position, though he did not camouflage anymore as he had done for the past long hours. Right now stood and watched, moving on his squinted eyes through from the person next to the making the movement for his body frozen like a statue made of stone. You will not stand in my path, for I will have your hides. She turns towards Ravaskan. Should Emon try to stop me and the Miracles understand me? What? It was a double trick! Behind me, little human. Hmm. Ah. So it was a double trick. Hides and scales and all that. Leave the Ornormi, leave now. Ravis can crane his call of the Ornormi's arrival, then the other side, some fathom of inquisitive nature pre prefixing a rather rapid flux of agination brewing with the tyrant. He let a rumble stir from his throat first and foremost, and then really his right set of claws up into motion. Do not make a mockery of me, he rather simplistically demanded, and a sudden brash of confidence of magic warp into existence, an unheard boom of his essence and rapid spell crab with intention to act as their normie. To an arcane basis stasis an incarnation of her limb is true resolute pressure. He's on the roof, by the way. They have to step away from the group. Uh, she's been instructed by the Viracras, although she'd been stopped by Ravis got her cane stasis, locking her in place. What? Double trick all along.
talking about Impress last week. My mom got rid of her old, old laptop, it's probably crapper than his current laptop, so no point in sending it to him. Browns slowly marched towards their four eventually set snuffing out chances of chaotic scene, he raised his right palm in an attempt to rest in to on top of the enormous skull. Then if the grip yelled a success, he unfurled his wings to their terrified span. In a single thunderous flap, her little open to the air with the enormous low, that it was all successful at least. Final aftermath is happening. Flew down towards their enormity and Ravison seeking to land upon Ravison's head to claw his face before he'd be able to flee with their enormity, waving her scald staff, raising a shield of glimmering black sand around the tree tractor. You will not take her wealth from me. This is too much for me, by the way. I, I don't have, like, power to defeat direct tears and all that. My little sword and all that shit.
wonders who, who dragged Napper at this rate. Pride just waited the appearance of one of those arrival he was expecting by standing on the roof and watching. He moved. He moved slightly, leaning towards with the body and measuring the distance between the roof and the ground and the mathematical odds, the likelihood of a sword blade plunging straight into her forehead. Or possibly like other Draktir he hadn't a chance to meet, but whatever it takes, as long as he had a chance of receiving a gift from either of them to keep his form permanently, he watched till and waited for the right moment. Ravis can reel his head back in the coming strike, only to observe the claws clink off on the oncoming Moonblade, both nostrils flaring into full agitation of plume smoke, despairing from them in rumbling off, shut up or aid, he repelled to the war again. I have little to do in creating this, I have simply elected to snuff it out. A reverberating elaboration was whilst he was presumably within or knocked out of the blackened sand. Let him finish this now. It's gone on for too long already. Speaks with a common monotone voice. Boy, oh boy, it's pretty crazy actually. For I will have your scales. Will not stand in my path, or I will have your hides. He turns towards Ravenskin. Should anyone try to stop me, and the miraculous understand me? Mm. I mean, I have done my part, right? I told the whole story, so. Furious typing is happening right now.
Gen the puts gently put firm help I said over his mouth. No need to provoke trouble, little one. With flinch buffeting her wings to lay her attack as she shook notice of the moonblade releasing the shielding black sand from almost as fast as it formed using the scald staff to deflect it and sand flying, though maintaining her hover. She looked around, stalling for a few skies. I swear you will die, all of you Empress Tyrant. Move to the elbow and then the lady behind him trying to make her rather intimidating form less so. Hey dear, let's get inside the building for now, probably the safest place. She needs to know what happens. Will we keep her safe right here? Just the amazing realization of using a mount for that. Perhaps needed nothing to rent the retreat and endlessly still notably infuriated. Despite your lecture's tone, you have my thanks in jumping to some fathomable defense. I swear you will die, all of you, in the first tyrant. Stands calm, no weapon pulled yet, seemingly ignoring the warg into his lift and guards showing up and the fight going on almost as wanting for something to more to happen. Did guards show up? I don't think the guards show up, right? As you proclaim altercation and it caused in the midst of retreating. Oh, those are guards, yeah. <laughs> the king's footmen. What are guards gonna do about this? Literally nothing, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. As you proclaim, it's hard to maintain grip on Dora Normi, who was presumably still stunned by the arcane stasis skull. You have no cause for concern for the Thai Beak. I will handle that remains of it between myself and the one who I have my hand upon. I report to you any significant Im impact incurring. Isn't it still in the stasis? If there is any. Draws a dagger but just observes the situation, not wanting to interfere unless necessary. I will return for you, my pet. Know that it I will be who I will slay you for all. May the infinite rise once more. She started warningly before taking her leave into the skies.
she cannot possibly refer to what I think she is, right? No altercation, as I was proclaimed when you arrived. I can handle the portion between myself and this one, but it seems there is some matter of infinite involved. Whether or not you do not seek to further into that. Most likely the director was referring to the infinite flight, yes. Let me go. <laughs> Grav is gonna tighten his glass, a silent warning. As ever. The catch is up with the present. Beware of the bronze dragonfly, the temple of magics. It is that, but a corrupted variation. From what I can gather, it is a relation to this one, or an attempt to at least corrupt her to its side. He's really fearsome, dude. Look at him. Like, holy crap. He's like, whoa. Shivering, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Part of Rothy hearing a shout from the woman who was hiding behind the two elves, he turned his head towards her, suddenly connecting all the dots. So this was the Empress he was looking for and couldn't find. The person who is responsible at this and whose death might hurt the most, the one who had the audacity to damage him in the face. However, hearing Domira's words next, he returned his gaze to her again as he, she tried to escape. He finally jumped off the building powerfully with the intention of slamming into her without sword drawn too. Hiding it beforehand in his care. There was too many people around and he knew he was just asking for trouble by murdering someone in there. So he simply decided to knock her out. But then she just escaped once again, snarled in anger, and punched with his tightening hand into the tile of the roof. Again, going back to observing. Turns around and head bumps Empress gently. That I do not know, but as I said before, I can assure you I have this handled and will come to you should I get mm, out of hand. Snarl as she could do nothing but observe her limbs locked in their arcane stasis. King's honor, guards. <laughs> I will be taking this one away now. Ravis can set his attention over his shoulder, Sanguine eye fixed on the trio who formerly approached him. I will be flying to Lion's Rest, the land below it, on its west. Ravis can with one hand on the enormity quite promptly took flight, keeping grip on her as he sought to soar to his mentioned location.
Empress, do you feel you have gotten what explanation you needed? to shrink and fade from leaving only those standing closest to him to feel a small discomfort. Indeed. leaning back against the wall behind her. Let's hope for now it is out of our hands. escaped once again <laughs> in the hands of Ravaskan dude like god damn it I'm sorry I couldn't go along with your instructions the time called for more drastic show of force then again it might be over for you years come with us knowing don't worry child I will get my valley out of this Why not? take care now remind the boy Hey, your boss. The boy! <laughs> he now owes me a favor with no questions asked.
for any of us. Holding her head, was it cut off? sound like any of this was finished for the long time but maybe we're safe for now <laughs> 